What's up, everybody? Welcome. It is summertime, so I got my shades on. I had to give a shout out to my friend Robbie for Mastering Diabetes because he had his shades on the other day when he was doing simple meals with Robbie, and it was perfect. But I actually found out why he wore his glasses. You want to know why? Because he was training. He was training for his Ironman, his second Ironman. So I'm super proud of him. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name's Corey. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm a plant-based athlete. I am a fellow Ironman of Robbie. In fact, I'm an Iron Dad. This is my tattoo, I guess. After you do your thing, that's that's what you do. You get a tattoo, right? So today we're going to be making a cherry vanilla smoothie. And guys, this is going to help you so much with satisfying that sweet tooth, but also giving you a little bit of indulgence, a huge boost of antioxidants, and just make you feel really great. All right? So there's a couple things I want to do at first. I want to show you my ingredients and I want to talk to you about two bonus things that I didn't get a chance to talk to you about in the last week's episode. So they're routine things, okay? These are things that are part of my day and part of my life that I want to share with you and hopefully give you a little bit of value. So the first thing I want to share with you is that Amala Green has coffee. How many of you actually have coffee in the morning? If you're a coffee drinker like I am, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know, like, do you, do you have your coffee in the morning? Is it an afternoon thing? How do you do it? For me personally, just letting you know, I do my coffee 90 minutes after I wake up. So I delay my caffeine intake by 90 minutes. And that allows my body to kind of regulate itself, wake up fully, and then not be so reliant on using the caffeine to actually wake up. Um, but since coffee is a part of my daily routine, I don't know if you guys heard, but Amla Green came out with coffee, superfood coffee. Now guys, you can save up to 50% on this product when you subscribe. You don't have to subscribe, but when you do, you can save up to 50%. So I want you to go check it out. Just go to the amlagreen.com website and just search coffee. It's right there. It's right on the homepage on amlagreen.com. So make sure you go check that out. Now, in addition, um, you know, it's funny. I, I, I have a routine that I take a lot of different things, right? I've got, you know, this supplement, I've got some echinacea, I've got some, you know, uh, mushrooms, and then I've also got like a greens powder, all right? So I want you to forget all of that stuff because it's all right here. This is your superfood coffee. Superfood meaning it is packed with antioxidants, it is fortified with the Indian gooseberry, which is the product that is the, the center of Amla Green. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And in addition, it'll help you regulate your blood sugar, control your cholesterol, and help promote heart health. So it's great. I want you to give it a shot. It tastes like milk chocolate, even though it's not milk. It's milk chocolate. Oh, Jessica's there and she's giving some, oh, it's giving some love to the Amla Green. Okay, cool. So we have milk chocolate, orange zest, and stone fruit is the, the flavor. All right, there is Jane. Hey, Jane, thanks for being here. Um, all right, so that's my first thing. My second thing, I'm gonna give some love to the parents because it is back to school. So with back to school comes quick and easy lunches for the kids. I wanna show you this. This is a little teapot, short and stout, all right? What you're gonna do, you're gonna heat up some water and in that water, you're gonna put it into this. What is this? It's just a thermos, right? Not a big deal. And I'm talking about making lunch. No, you're not gonna give your kid hot water for lunch. But what you're going to do is warm this puppy up before you put your noodles, your rice and beans, your tofu, whatever you want to make your kids. And then they open it up. Obviously, the water's dumped out. You put the hot food in. They bring it to school. They open it up. And I'm not even joking. It's just like it's nice and warm and hot. And mom made it. All right. Uh, or dad. Or dad made it. Right. So you got those. Those are just a couple quick hacks. You can get that thing on Amazon. It's like under 10 bucks. So go grab that. Great tool. Use your teapot. Ready to go. All right, are you ready? Shall we make a vanilla cherry smoothie? I'm excited about it, I hope you are too. Um, I'm gonna bring you down to my blender. Now the blender that I'm using is going to be the Vitamix. The Vitamix is a staple in my house. I probably use it three or four times a day. Um, and I use it to make smoothie bowls. So today we're making an actual smoothie, but we are going to be making smoothie bowls. Now, I wanna give you this, I wanna give you a gift. All right, all you have to do is comment smoothie bowl and our team is going to send you eight 
amazing smoothies for you to consume and love and feel great about, okay? So just comment with the word smoothie and then we're done. And our producer is Michael. Michael's gonna put on the bottom below a little ticker that just says, hey, comment smoothie and we'll send you the guide. All you have to do is comment smoothie, okay? All right, I'm gonna bring you down. Here we are. Welcome to my kitchen. Now today we're gonna be using omelet green hibiscus. Hibiscus is less than a dollar a serving and you can get it over at omelagreen.com. So go check it out. If you wanna use the code GREEN10 for 10% off your first order, you could do that for sure. And this is a red powder, again, fortified with the Indian gooseberry, which is the world's most powerful whole food antioxidant. It's incredible, all right? But by itself, it doesn't taste very good. Um, not the product, the Indian gooseberry. It doesn't taste very good by itself. So what Cyrus and Robbie did for Mastering Diabetes, they came up with this and they said, hey, listen, um, I'm gonna add a couple things to it. What am I adding? Well, 100% organic ingredients. And it's going to be things like, hold on, holy cow. Okay, I can't even see it, guys. This is what happens when you get old, it's so small. Um, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. There's hibiscus in it, organic amla fruit, organic ginger root, uh, cinnamon, and some mint leaf, organic mint leaf, okay? So 100% organic, non-caffeinated, and a great addition to your smoothie. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get to the ingredients. The ingredients are very, very easy. The first thing we're gonna start with is our liquid. So we're gonna do almond milk just over the blade, all right? Let's call it one cup, even though I'm not measuring. I'm just using kind of my judgment here as a smoothie making dad, all right? The second thing we're gonna do is a cup of frozen banana slices. Now, I don't know about you, but I keep my frozen bananas, the ones that have expired or whatever, the that turned all like this, right? When my bananas get like this, I turn them into frozen bananas. I can make nice cream out of this. I can make tons of stuff. So I'm gonna grab these and it's one cup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one and a half bananas in there, okay? So those are ready to rock and roll. The next thing that I'm gonna do with my frozen stuff is I'm going to grab uh, my cherries, okay? So we have one cup of cherries and that is right here. I got a frozen bag of cherries from my local Publix and uh, you know, frozen is great. You don't have to use fresh everything, frozen is fine. So here we go. Now, I want you to keep in mind, everybody, that you can just comment with the word smoothie. We're gonna send you a free guide that'll show you how to make some of the best tasting smoothie bowls in the world, all right? Um, okay, we're good there. Now, next, we're gonna have a scoop of vanilla protein powder. So you can use whatever powder you want. I would highly recommend that it's organic. You test it for third-party testing. Uh, they make sure they do taste good. I mean, all these things are really, really important, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just a scoop, half a scoop, it's up to you. For me, I, I like packing on some muscle, so I'm gonna put a little full scoop in there, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we got that. And then I'm gonna be wild today. I'm gonna be wild. I'm throwing in a dragon fruit or two, okay? Now those, now you're talking like a pitaya bowl, but it doesn't matter. Look at how beautiful it is. It's like bright pink, okay? So I'm gonna drop that in there. Woo! And now we got a whole pink smoothie. Okay, so we've got our Amla Green um, is next. So that's the hibiscus flavor. We've got the red one. And look at how small this scoop is, you guys. Teeny tiny. That's all you need. It's so powerful, that's all you need. Whole food, antioxidant, powerhouse. Ready to rock and roll, okay? Now, put this down. All right. We're good. So almond milk we've already got and we're good to go. I think we're ready to blend. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you on, I'm gonna put myself on mute for a second. We're gonna blend, all right? And we're gonna be good to go. So I will count you down and then I'm gonna go on mute. You ready? Three, two,
All right, guys, we're done. We're back, and it blended perfectly. Now, at the beginning, I had to smash it down with my little, you know, smasher or whatever. Uh, you ever seen that movie, uh, Home with the Shusher, you know? I feel like whenever I grab that thing and I'm smashing it down, it's like the Shusher, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, maybe I'm the only one. Okay, um, here we go. Look at this beautiful color. I'm gonna pour it in. Uh, oh, Sherry's commenting smoothie. That means we're gonna send you the eight smoothie bowl recipes We're back, guys. So sorry about that. We got to do the pour. Okay, here's the pour. So what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. This thing is perfection in a cup. I'm so excited about this. I'm actually going to pass this to uh, my team who is here helping me produce. And they're going to try it, too. And then I'm going to try it. I can tell you that I had a little taste test. And it's really quite refreshing. So listen, guys. Um, we have a couple. Oh. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Deborah. I'm glad you like it. Um, does anybody have any questions? Are there any questions from anybody about this smoothie or about the guide? What we are doing is we are giving away the free smoothie guide. Um, our producer is telling me that we do have a couple questions. So we're going to put those up. Uh, not a ton, but uh, just a couple. And I'll be here for you guys. Um, again, like my name's Corey and I'm from Lean Green Dad. You guys know me. I'm here every week. But um, as we go back to school, if you guys are looking for some free, you know, awesome recipes, go check it out over at leangreendad.com. Everything on the site, totally free. Tons of like cookie recipes and things that are for your little healthy plant-based family. So uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, and have fun. So um, Fleming, do we have any questions? None? That's great. Cyrus isn't here and I'm not qualified to answer any medical questions. So I think that's a good thing. Um, but ultimately, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for letting me come and make this smoothie with you. And uh, I really look forward to helping you out. So, uh, Mark, we got you. We're going to send you that smoothie guide. Just look for a comment, reply, or a DM from our team. And we're going to send you that smoothie guide. So, till next time, everybody, you rock. Thank you so much. Happy back to school. See ya.